Hey, there we go. The transition actually worked. How do you like that? Hello and welcome to Coffee Craft. Live, unlike previous editions, it is just me out here today. And um, it's going to be a little more relaxed jaunt. Um, as those of you who tuned in yesterday know, we are changing the time of our weekly stream. It is no longer going to be Mondays at 7 p.m., Eastern Daylight Time. It is now going to be Tuesdays at 7 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Uh, just some scheduling stuff. Life. And, uh, yeah. So, there that is. Um, before I get into anything, I have actually left AFK since yesterday's stream. So I want to check on a couple of farms. Um, just to kind of recap some of the farms that we have on the server. And, um, hang on. I gotta fix something real quick. And, no, okay. That is working. Alright. Um, yeah. You've heard me mention it a couple of times on the stream. YouTube is still giving me trouble. It keeps... Restream is telling me that my YouTube account is on hold. And to go to the dashboard. I go to the dashboard and the account tells me everything's fine. So I don't know if I'm on hold or if everything's fine. That's one of the things that I plan on looking into tomorrow. I keep a local copy, local recording of all... That is not where I'm going to go. I keep a local copy of all the recordings so that... Um, if there does end up being a problem, I can... Uh, I can always go and re re download or re upload the videos. I'm probably just gonna go and make that my goal for tomorrow is to re upload all the stuff that should have streamed out there and didn't. And uh, ooh, potatoes. You know what Minecraft really needs? French fries. Because I've already got some fish, and it'd be nice to have some fish and chips. I am originally from the New England area, so yes, I, I am <laughs> deeply and lovingly acquainted with fish and chips. Um, anyway, so YouTube's acting weird. I'm going to have to dig into that figure out what the deal is. Uh, there's a part of me that's wondering if it isn't the background music, which I find odd, because better than half the playlist is stuff that I got out of the YouTube library that is there for content creators to use so they have public domain music that they can uh, that they can work without issue. The rest of the music comes from another public domain library so it, again we're at um, we're at music that is clearly and un unambiguously free to use. Um, it might be a little cranky that I don't have in the description where the music comes from, and so that could be it. Um, I do have to get better about updating the uh, descriptions and that sort of thing. And uh, updating my Twitch profile and a lot of other that kind of housekeeping stuff. Um, anybody who's read my website, anonjunior.com, will know that... Um, I guess it's easy to make this confession since there's nobody here. Um, one of the things that has been hampering progress on getting uh, this whole game streaming thing going is I have been dealing with some serious burnout. Um, I quit the job that burned me out, that burned me out this bad, about a year ago. And while I am doing better, Better is a relative term. And, uh, so I'm doing better than I was when I left, but I still have an awful lot of days where, um, <laughs> the fact that I actually got out of bed is a grand achievement. Um, And so, yeah, you, you get weeks like last week where I really didn't get much accomplished beyond the initial stream because uh, work kind of drained what energy I had. And, uh, anyway, 
kind of happier topics like getting the uh, potato and carrot stock back up um, I emptied out what we had in villager trading I don't know why I'm keeping the bread I, honestly I know I have more seeds than I know what to do with so into the garbage disposal um, yeah trying to do the villager trading and get that sort of stuff squared away thing was busy <sighs> okay <laughs> so it's gonna be like that today gotcha I'm prepared <sighs> that's not a bad haul uh, as I mentioned in one of the first videos, although I think that, that was one of the ones where the audio was really, really sad. Um, the pumpkin melon farm that I'm using is based off of one of the designs that Mumbo Jumbo went over in a relatively recent video. Where he went through a few different pumpkin melon farm designs and um, I'll have to tear that down. Hopefully this weekend I'll work on a video running through the different farms and whatnot. Um, I definitely want to make sure the first produced video is the tour of past worlds and things uh, where I take a look at what we have done on previous servers and how we intend to grow on this one. Um, by the by, work on farm spacing, otherwise you end up with carpet in your sugarcane farm. There's a story behind that one. Uh, I'll definitely get into that when I cover the different farms and uh, lessons learned from said farms. All right, so we got that. Wow, okay. We got that cleared away and, ooh, good. Because Arcadius absolutely pillaged my rockets for our little end busting session yesterday, which uh, sadly was a bit of a bust itself. We, uh... We did get to the point where, in order to get stuff relatively close by, we had to trim the end. So I went and I trimmed the end. Everything's supposed to be new and regenerating. And it looks like we're regenerating fewer cities than we had before. Not good. Or maybe it was just we had a really bad night and happened to miss everything. Um, we were dealing with some lag issues. I've narrowed down my hosting my possible hosting choices to three uh, that have been recommended by various YouTubers. And um, I'll have a little more detail when we settle on the, when we actually settle on a server. I'll go over the list that we considered um, and then ultimately who we chose and why. Okay. These blocks. Also, I don't know how the pros ever got to the point that they can talk and work at the same time. Um, I don't know if it's a matter of them playing more than I do, or if... I'm sure it's just practice. Give me enough time. I will get there. Alright, I gotta go find another home for those arrows, because... Uh, I do keep a stockpile of arrows in my armory. Except I consider three double chests my max. I mean, seriously. A at that point, keeping them is ridiculous. But Reyest would also like a stockpile of arrows, so... I'm gonna have to go find a uh, box to store things in. Alright, I'm gonna fly today. Okay, we're probably gonna fly today. The question is, how bad is it? Oh, that was actually pretty good. Um, no, there's no room in that one. As you can see, I've already dropped off some arrows over here. And, uh, yeah. Okay, there we go. Can I make the flight back? Will I actually fly? Fly! There we go. 
I do still want to finish this project at some point. Where, uh, ooh, ooh. I wanted stairs up to the front of the castle, and uh, I ended up having to terraform a little bit because I couldn't get the stairs at the grade I wanted, wrapping the way I wanted with the terrain as it naturally fell. And uh, so I made that little retention wall there for that part. I'm going to put a lava fountain on top of that. And then I'm just going to rebuild this wall out here so it looks a little more naturally generated. Uh, that's those shulker boxes and the clear signs of progress from the last time I mentioned that. Um, yeah, sorry. Little ADD. A little bit all over the place. A little more relaxed. Trying to get started on the new time. Get adjusted to the new time. That kind of settled into a nice Monday habit, and now I gotta settle into a nice Tuesday habit. Um, grab a little bit. Next time I run by Arcadius's uh, Guardian Farm, stock up on those guys. Um, yeah. I guess that would be one thing I could do. I really would like to get this to a place where I could actually turn it on or off as a XP or an item collection. Um, I've already made some changes to the design I, that I think I showed two weeks ago. Yeah, I think it was two weeks ago where I went through how I hollowed it out and or hollowed out the original design and did something. A little bit better. Definitely a little bit more efficient. Uh, definitely a little bit fancier. Uh, but I wouldn't mind getting to the place where instead of fall damage, it becomes uh, an XP farm. But I'll save that for another day. I kept that farm. <laughs> no pun intended. And everything else requires user intervention. Okay. So, now that we got the collection done. I don't know, that looks pretty night-ish. Uh, hmm. Hello, puppies. Um, yeah, Arcadius thinks he's funny. Alright, uh, today... what kind of delay things are running on. I just want I turned that off from the last World of Tanks stream. Alright, since today is supposed to be a little more laid back, I'll, I am going to go ahead and work a little bit on... What did we need? Reyes needed some resources, didn't she? Let's see what she needed. Oh, she needs another brick. That's right. She needs some nether brick, some sand. That's an odd combination. Oh, because she wants concrete. Um, her big evil fortress of doom type dealy. Um, yeah. That acacia is sad. I should have done that. I think it's gonna be spruce. Yeah, it's gonna be spruce. Uh, that is another thing that we got pillage on. Rayust uh, needed the lumber for all those boxes that we had back at the storage area. Uh, 
definitely worthwhile because again it's one of those things that it, it is going to help all of us on the server our main goal for these community storage is going to be um, so that anything anybody does not want or at least wants to leave available to the community is going to go in the community storage so we'll each have our private storages like here and then uh, we'll also have that building there so like all the extra arrows that I don't want I'll put it in there uh, one thing that we haven't discussed as a group that I really ought to make sure I cover the next time we sit down to talk about the server is uh, just how much we're gonna keep over there because I want to make sure that uh, we don't get into ridiculous levels of storage I mean we do not need 82 shulker boxes filled with arrows because at a certain point that just become that that's ridiculous that is beyond ridiculous and um, I want to make sure that we avoid those parts that that level of ridiculousness I know what I forgot I forgot potions of fire resistance because when you're traveling in the nether that's a really, really good thing to have. In case you're wondering how such a weird area came open, I am eventually going to build a small scale uh, gold farm over here. I know it's not going to be the most efficient because the most efficient would be to head up that way, get up on top of the roof, but this is more of a short term. I'd like to switch from fish to golden carrots. Now that I got that carrot farm and it seems to be running pretty well, uh, I need an easy way to get the gold. Because, you know, it's all about the gold. And uh, that is on the list. That's on the agenda. At some point I hope to get a nice little gold farm going over there. Something a little bit quicker. And the idea is to clear out a large spawning platform, a space big enough that will spawn zombie pigmen, but not ghasts or other things like that. And uh, it's getting there. While I'm there digging, I, there's a fair number of pigmen that show up. I want to make it just a little bit bigger. And then... Um, That is the one thing about efficiency, uh, <laughs> efficiency, uh, pickaxes. Oh, there we go. I knew I had a potion box around here somewhere. Fire resistance. And health, those are both good to have. And, uh, let me go replace that block. This is the area that we've been pillaging for all the nether brick that we have currently. Um, it also helps in getting these guys. A little extra magma cream never hurt. Gamma. I do not wish to die in the most noobish death. Ooh, what was that? in the teleporting tanks. Yeah, that was a problem in earlier versions of World of Tanks where uh, they actually had a tank that was faster than the game client updated. So you would actually run into a situation where the tank would appear to teleport in front of you because <laughs> it was moving faster than, faster than the uh, server checked with all the clients on position. That was, uh, fun times. Fun times. Especially if you were in that particular light. Come on. There we go.
There's a nice thing about mending everything. Bam. Okay. But yeah, this is the area that we've been uh, farming another brick with. Yeah, it's been all right. Uh, given the space that we've cleared out, I've been more than half tempted to make this the uh, site of my... Uh, sorry, I just heard it gassed. Okay, I hear you. I've been more than tempted to make this the site of my gold farm, but it's a little bit further away, a little less convenient, and uh, I am a fan of convenience. And I know that 1.14 is out. I have not yet updated the server. I want to give it a chance to uh, <laughs> for some other people to run into the bumps. And so I don't, I don't, again, I don't mind testing software. I don't mind being on the leading edge um, in some cases. But uh, this, is, this is not one of those cases. Because it's not just me on the server. It's not just me that's got to deal with all the weirdness. It is Arcadius and Ray Aston. While Arcadius jokes about, you know, how he doesn't mind, I'd still be a little worried about it. I can, I can definitely, definitely see him getting kind of grumpy about something suddenly not working. Not that he'd ever get grumpy about something like that. Did you hear the sarcasm? as part of the move. That's when I'll go ahead and do the update. Long as it's done, but that's a lot of little zombies. Interesting. Right. As long as... Yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and do the upgrade as part of the move, as long as it happens before next Tuesday. That way, when we do our Tuesday stream, there'll be uh, a little less lag, less teleporting slimes, and I can actually do a proper end busting. I had half I was half tempted to go ahead and do that again today, but the if you look back at yesterday's video, while Arcadius and I were out and about doing our doing our tour of the end, you'll see just how. Okay. Yeah. You'll see just how, um, how sad that experience was. And I try to try to keep things a little bit better than what happened there. Grab a couple of shulker boxes of another rack. And then I'll show you part of why I have the furnace set up the way I do. It is so that way on projects like this where I need to go ahead and smelt up a whole bunch of stuff. Um, as much as one of those ridiculous arrays that you see some. damage. Are they just now getting around updating? For sure, I was a dead man on that one. I don't know what refused to update appropriately. Me or them? There. I 
probably ought to review a couple of things though as we go about here because I do want to make sure that ghasts don't spawn in here. And I think part of the problem with digging the ceiling this far up is that a ghast can spawn in here. It's been a while since I looked over the actual mechanics of how they happen. So I couldn't swear to that one. And uh, last thing we need is a surprise ghast. They are the worst. Yeah, I know. That's tempting fate. That is sorely tempting fate. swords because I got a really bad feeling about how how this is gonna go all of a sudden and I want to make sure that I am adequately prepared oh, combat and armor let's trade in the sarcasm and grab there we go <laughs> this might make right Just in case. I got this really weird feeling. I almost want to swap out the armor too. I've got a full set of fire resistance armor for various nether related tasks because, well, it's the nether. And fire resistance is always a good thing. But, um,. I don't know. I'm not that worried about a lava fall in here. Now that I've said that, however, and because I'm digging out the smartest way in the nether, man, that ghast is loud. hostile yet. I hear you. Okay. Now for the nether brick, I'm not entirely sure what part of Rayest Project that plays. I do know that um, he definitely has plans for the concrete. And while I'm here, I may try to find a gravel patch or two. So they usually do form somewhere in the nether. Um, probably get the fire resistance armor for that one. Uh, that seems like the better part of Valor. See, and this is one of the things that I'm struggling with on this whole streaming thing. What to do to fill the time. I've... <laughs> I can go all meta and just talk about podcasting, which is apparently what most people seem to do their first couple of podcasts. Um... Or streaming in this case, I, I'm pretty sure this is what a lot of... I'm in good company that as a novice I am spending a lot of streaming time talking about streaming. Uh, I've noticed that a lot of the bigger channels that I love to watch, um, a good part of their content, a good part of what makes them fun to watch, is because of their interactions with their audience. You know, that thing that I haven't had a chance to build yet. Because, well, I'm just starting out. 
Got a couple of subscribers and that sort of thing. And I want to build on that. And that's, uh... That's part of what I'm struggling right now. I'm finally getting it on a schedule. I'm streaming on a schedule. I got an idea for what I want to do. Uh, I want to use the live streams for the building, the gathering, uh, hopefully with Arcadius and Ray Asked. Um, part of what made Mondays better for streaming is Arcadius always had Mondays off, and Ray Asked often had Mondays off, so we could work together. But uh, the three of us are working out another project with a few of our friends, and that's going to take place on Monday afternoons. And since we're collaborating with other people whose schedules cannot move as well, uh, moving the stream made more sense. Uh, well, Arcadius doesn't always have Tuesdays off, he often has Tuesdays off. And so... Most of the time, he will be here with me streaming, and I want to make sure that we use the streams for building projects, gathering projects, that sort of thing. I also want to get into the video production end. Uh, I used to do video production. It was part of my job as the online education coordinator for Cape Fear Valley's training and development. Uh, Cape Fear Valley was a mid-sized health system. Hello! How are you doing today? I noticed that there is a little bit of a delay in the stream, so I apologize in advance for the uh, for the delays. Hello, hello. Yeah, I haven't been able to figure out what's up with the delay. I'm pretty sure I turned that off when um, when I when I did my last coffee craft stream. Yeah, so far so good. A little tired, but uh, that's mostly because uh, work runs from about 6.30 in the morning until 3 in the afternoon. Makes for a long day. But uh, the work is good. And thank you for the follow. Now, just out of curiosity, is this from a Twitter announcement because of a random feature on... Um, on Mixer, I, I'm always curious how people come across the channel, especially since we're in the early days. I know that Mixer will okay. Mixer seems to drive a little bit more initial follows than Twitch does. And I'm still trying to figure out the, uh, the quirks of the different places. That is, uh, that is one of the things that I'm definitely learning is both platforms have their pluses and minuses and I feel a little bit more comfortable about using uh, Restream.io to multi-stream to both of them uh, especially since YouTube's being weird and my Schrodinger's account is both on hold and not on hold um, I can at least still go live with Mixer and Twitch you know, so weird things happen, and I can at least keep it going at one of the channels or another. Um, I'm pretty sure I can't really put that in the profile for Mixer and Twitch, because I know they get kind of cranky about you directing people to other sites. But, um, yeah. I'll get that squared away. Tomorrow's goal is definitely going to be to work on figuring out what's up with the YouTube account and why... It is why Restream is telling me it's on hold. And the dashboard is telling me I'm not on hold. Because as far as the dashboard's concerned, everything is a go. stuff sometimes. Maybe 
maybe somebody in Europe complained. I don't know. But um, yeah, earlier I was I was just talking about how I used to do video production and with some of the stuff I want to do with the coffee craft, it's going to be a return to the video production I used to do. Um, as a part of the training development department. It was all staff training videos, that sort of thing. But um, editing video is editing video at a certain level. And uh, it's just little rusty skills. Uh, as the needs of the department changed, the work I did changed. And my last few years there, there was a lot less video work, a lot less programming, and a lot more coordinating with uh, content owners the people who are responsible for the various projects and uh, subject matters that we were doing training for. And given that my role was technically also staff support, I spent a lot more time on that because when I started at the hospital, it was only 2,500 employees, two campuses, and uh, you know, 14 outpatient clinics. And then, uh, when I left, 14 years later, when I left 14 years later, it was 7,000 employees, not counting contract staff, and five, six campuses, somewhere around there, 40-ish outpatient clinics, uh, spread all across the county, and a couple of locations in neighboring counties. Um, so, doing staff support at the earlier levels when there's only 2,500 staff, that, that was manageable. It was not fun, but it was manageable. Um, it also helped that the system we were using was one that I had built. So that meant that if there was a problem with the system itself, I could just, you know, fix it. And uh, when I left in an effort to reduce workload, they had transitioned to a purchase system which was supposed to cut down on the amount of time I spent on overhead because there was there were some more automated systems with an asterisk um, and other things that were supposed to make life easier as you can tell by the supposed to they did not make life easier at all So I spent a lot of time helping people with password resets, helping people with linked accounts, helping uh, various individuals uncluster messes that have been made because the, the instructions for certain things were fairly overly complicated. Some of that was because the system that the learning management system that we were using made some things more complicated than they had to be. Uh, no, I will not talk about vendor names. Um, some of it was because we as a health system made some decisions that also made it harder than it needed to be. And not too much I can do about that part. But, um, I don't even remember where I was going with that. It all started with the video production, because, um, One of the things that I want to do is I want to take some of the knowledge that I gained from working in the education department, um, in video production, and in training in general, and start putting it into the YouTube videos. I see an awful lot of Minecraft videos geared towards the absolute beginner. Yeah, here's a block for block, just put this here, put this here, put this here, and et voila, you have a thing. Which is nice, especially when you're getting started. Don't, don't hear what I'm not saying. I watched hundreds of those. 
um, especially as I was getting back into Minecraft after a bit of hiatus, and I should have known that was going to happen. Ah! Yeah, that was inevitable. I should have been keeping a better eye out for that. Live and learn. Okay, hopefully live. Definitely learn. But um, anyway, so I see a lot of tra a lot of Minecraft videos that are geared towards the absolute beginner. And yeah, you know, just block for block, do this, do that, do that, put that there, and voila, a thing is built. And that's good. That's good for when you're getting started. But the other kind of video that I run into more often than not, that is not a block for block, is the complete other end of the spectrum, geared towards the absolute expert, like, you know, the, the kind of guy that's in the line for Psycraft. And, uh, you know, you're, you're working the, the finer points of the game mechanics, and I'm not finding a lot of stuff in the middle. And that... It, that is where I would like to make my niche. I would like to make videos for the moderately informed to help people make that hurdle between, okay, I've been doing block for block beginner tutorials and now I'm ready for the next step. I'm ready to go from that novice to the beginner or from the beginner to the intermediate. Probably be paying closer attention to what I'm doing. Oh, I still got the fire resistance on, don't worry. Yeah. Oh. Perils of the Nether. Don't let me forget to make another fire resistance potion. And I wanna I wanna help people bridge the gaps and move up. At least as far as I can help up, because when it comes to especially redstone, but farm design and that sort of thing, I'm at one of those intermediate stages. I'm not going to be designing complicated farms out of whole cloth, but I've built a couple of simple farms on my own without referencing somebody else's work because I've looked at some of the principles in the things that I've done block for block on because I sat down and actually figured out, okay, what is this doing? Okay, this goes here, this goes here. I have no idea why that's there. Oh, that's right, so that way. And, uh, and because of that, I've been able to make some gains here and there and I wanna I want to help other people do the same thing. Um, so, once I get my video production skills back up to par, that's uh, that's that's what I want to look out for. Building videos for the advanced beginner, the intermediate, and that level of thing, where it's not just block for block follow this here. It's uh, okay. Here's the core design. Here's how we can modify it. Here's where things are movable, depending on what you want to do. Here's where things are not movable, regardless of what you want to do. And, uh, and just help people grow in that respect. I don't really worry about the pickaxe. I'll have to do something about that in a second. I do not want to lose a pickaxe. After all... The heartburn I've given Arcadius for all the pickaxes he's lost. I don't, <laughs> I don't want to turn around and be the one to lose a pickaxe myself. That'd just that'd be the final bit. Likewise, I want to kind of do the same thing with the 48% or the 47%. I can never remember which it is. Uh, basically, I would, that, that's the World of Tanks live stream that I do on Fridays. 
Uh, more often than not, I have Colonel Sanders joining me in on that one. He is an old friend of mine. We've gamed together for years. Um, first game we ever played together was Delta Force, the original Delta Force by Nova Logic. I want to say that came out in 90-something. Um, I know I was still in high school at the time. <laughs> uh, that's probably a part that Fart, Fart Rock does not. Sorry, he, he's Fart Rock on World of Tanks. He's been Colonel Sanders in every other game that we've played together. Uh, even though he hasn't held the uh, handle Colonel Sanders in a long time. Because he pretty much plays exclusively World of Tanks and World of Warships. And uh, there he goes by Fart Rock. Um, it's habit. It's decades, plural, of habit. Um, hopefully, next go around. Hopefully, next go around, Hordes of Locust will be able to join us. Um, Hordes of Locust is another guy that I've known for a very long time. Um, he. He was the one who first handed me a Delta Force disc. <laughs> and he asked me, you know, if I ever played first-person shooters, what I thought of them, how I liked them. And uh, then he goes, well, hey, let's try this. And he hands me a disc for uh, Delta Force, the first one, way back in the day. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to go grab another potion of fire resistance before, uh, before this goes bad. I'm going to look for some gravel deposits. And, yeah, we, we've been, we played through all the different versions of Delta Force from the first one to, I think Black Hawk Down was the last one we played together. Black Hawk Down was almost certainly the last one that we played together. And, um... Delta Force Extreme came out. It was supposed to be, uh... Delta Force 1, the first one, the classic, revisited. With the new game mechanics and all that sort of thing. And... It was okay. You know, it was alright. Some things were good, some things were not, some things were better, some things were worse. And, um, long story short, we just kind of got off that train. We tried America's Army, we tried Arma, we tried, um, we've tried a lot of games. And the only one that really lasted with any, for any length of time was World of Tanks. But even then, we've all kind of fallen off on that one for a little bit. Uh, it's only recently that we're all getting back into it. Um, I know part of it was the community. Part of it is there's no good way to get a platoon larger than three people together. And we really do like playing with more of our friends. Um... Don't get lost. How about I not get lost by going? Because I've got that short-term memory thing, I will forget that I even gave myself a screenshot. <laughs> Uh, as before I got rambling on to the people I was going to be playing with um, with the World of Tanks stream I also want to target more of that intermediate player I want to look more at the sorts of things that you can do if you're not going to devote 
tons and tons and tons of time in there. Um, kind of for the weekend warrior, but not not referencing that in the derogatory sense that most people mean it when they say it. Sorry, I hear guests. That always worries me. And I'm hoping to find some gravel around here somewhere. Normally, there's more than I ever care to think about. Unless I'm looking for it. Hmm. Is that our hub? Oh, no. Okay. That's our nether fortress. Arcadius and I spent some harrowing time clearing that out. That is where a nether fortress generated. And we've been... <laughs> this is where Arcadius has been getting all the beacons from. Uh, he comes out here and he just kind of roams back and forth, back and forth, killing the wither skeletons and hopefully getting a skull. I do have looting... Yeah, I do have looting out of here. And I see a couple of those guys... Ooh, so tempting. Nah, I'm not gonna go after those guys. But... We'll try to make it to... Our passage here. I thought there were some other gravel patches somewhere near here before we uh, walled all this in. <laughs> that idiot is still there too. I am curious what's going to happen with this sort of stuff when we do the upgrade. This part of why I'm waiting. I'm waiting to see uh, other people go through stuff. See what kind of problems they run into. See what farms break. I know the iron farm is going to be broken. The villager farm is going to be broken. And I'm just going to have to work on a new version of those. Yeah, that's looking like a big no. Alright, different direction. I hear the chickens. Somebody <clears throat> may have gotten bored and tossed a whole bunch of chickens all around the nether. I, I don't know who would have done such a horrible thing. Who would have caused all these chicken eggs to go floating around? Especially in that spot we're near Arcadius' door. Um... I mean, that, that's just a mean thing to do on a server. I, I am a guest, uh, so to speak. Well, that is what I was looking for, but I don't like what I gotta do to get it. Frostwalker boots. That would have made this part easier. All of it here? That appears to be all of it here. Alright. Onward and forward. Or at least onward.
must have been near one of my other entrances. Thought I had one blocked out somewhere. Make sure there's somewhere for the lava to flow before I go killing all the gravel here. I would have expected to find one by now. I'm curious how much all that exploration is going to impact what we see on this server from the upgrade to 1.14. Um, don't have to do new iron farm, new villager farm. Probably redesign the trading hall, which was on the agenda anyway. Um, I really liked the design that El Court. Uh, Cortez Arena? Yeah, Cortez Arena put together uh, that we're using now, but it's a little tight in space. Really hard to, uh, to do some extensive villager trading or to get a, a higher capacity of villagers. Uh, when that thing gets going though, man, you can end up with a lot of villagers. A lot of villagers. Um, before we realized that we, uh, man, we had this thing slowed to a crawl. <laughs> it was, it was something. It was something. So we, uh, followed his follow-up video and put in some trapdoors so all the babies got shunted into a pool of lava. Yeah, a modest proposal. And, uh, ooh! Oh, okay. Well, better than while I'm on it. is most definitely a restism. You're going to hear for serious a lot because of her. A fair warning on that one. It is one of her favorite phrases and everybody that works with her and for her eventually ends up uh, taking the phrase on as their own. <laughs> it's alright. It's good. I do give her a hard time about it, though. She has not yet picked a uh, streaming platform to work on. She's not sure if she wants to do restream or just uh, do Twitch like Arcadius. And uh, at this point, <laughs> that is the least of her concern anyway. Because with everything that she's got going on at work, uh, she, if she's on a stream, is going to be with one of us as opposed to doing a random stream of her own. Um, she's going to pop on here and there when she has time. And, uh... Come on. Fall. Oh. She's going to pop on from time to time when she can. And pretty much that's going to be the extent of her, uh... her participation. Well... That and when she's got days off or time off and she can go poking around the server like uh, earlier this week. 
and work on the storage. The, the storage community project's been her baby. You know, we all wanted something. Arcadius has been the one building the various farms. Um, he's got the guardian farm over at his second base. Um, he's got a spider farm that I, I'm not sure if he's shown it on his stream or not. Uh, I'll definitely have to make that part of the, the world tour. And he's got the zombie farm that he started very early on in this endeavor. That is the base. Or that is, yeah. This has been a little less fruitful. does not look like the place I'd want to cross anywhere. Ooh, jeez, um, what am I doing? What am I... I'm having a moment. That's what I'm doing. I am getting stares from a starving puppy. So, let me take this as the opportunity to get somewhere safe-ish relative that term maybe okay I'll collect this first now we got somewhere safe-ish I will feed the puppy it won't take too long This, will, this should go to the back of... Yep. Oh. Besides XP. Oh, that wasn't what I wanted. <laughs> oh, about that day. Is there a... There's something down there. That would be worth going for. It's okay, Joe. I'll feed you in just a minute. feed the puppy if there we go there we go okay intermission is up I shall return in just a couple minutes
you see in the intermission clip has been fed <laughs> he's a good boy speaking of being fed yeah there we go all right but I, I use Java on all my stream artwork, the loading page, the wait page. I gotta get the loading page uh, redone. That's one of the projects on my to-do list. I want to have it set up so that way instead of being a hard-coded 10-minute wait, I can uh, just program in a start time and have it count down appropriately from there. I'm sure Streamlabs has a plugin that I'm missing that will do that. That's just something I whipped together real quick. Because I really want to get it done before, before I started streaming. And it was a good way to poke around a little bit. See what's what. As far as... Um, some of that goes. Eh, that'll work. You'll see why I'm getting kind of fussy about that a little bit later. Yeah, more nether chickens. I don't know where they're coming from. <clears throat> Lucky am I. Oh, this was a bad idea. Eh. Not as bad as it initially looked. I mean, other than the damage taken. Too far lost yet. Okay. Yeah, so I've got projects like that. that I really want to get done. I still need to get the uh, channel page finished, the profile filled out. So that way the, uh, there you are. So that way the Twitch and Mixer pages don't look uh, completely barren. Yeah, they look like somebody with a modicum of professionalism actually had a hand in them. saw a wither skeleton flying up in the air and that's that, that, that would have been about the time that I just you know logged out and said nope done
that's really easy to uh, sit there before the stream. Have a good idea what you're going to talk about, how long it's going to take. That's one of the things that I miss about teaching more uh, structured and formalized classes. There, there was a... It was easier in a great many respects. In no small part because everything was, uh, well, structured. You kind of had a definite starting point and you knew that everything was going to take take some fairly well well marked turns that I've built some classes I built some office education classes for the manager manager training series that we did built a couple of content programming type classes yeah, how to build a tutorial how to build um, how to build training for staff this is this is a little bit different new skills there we go that's easier my fate. They run through here. Stay over there. Stay over there. There we go. I'll take on those guys another day. proof the inside. It's why a lot of this is bottom slabs. But we didn't really have a hub per se. And Arcadius was having a sleepless night. So apparently sleepless night means I'm just going to go ahead and enclose everything. Alright, so why do I have this furnace array set up the way I do? So I can get done with stuff like this and go. <sighs> Except with more grace. Because sometimes, sometimes things just don't go as you'd expect. There we go. Originally, I was going to split that evenly between the two of those, but you know what? I'm just going to toss that in there. And I'll put that gravel away there. Come back to that one in a little bit. Drop off a few of these other bones. Like the magma cream. Got a little bit of time. 
But while that's running, I'm gonna head out to the desert behind Arcadius' second base and try to pick up more gravel and sand. slab up those floors or do something to make it non-spawnable. I'll add that to the agenda. I keep adding stuff. Uh, let me do this. Uh, let me add that. Uh, let me add the other thing. Arcadius, the uh, construction of this ice road. Hello, Zen. How are you doing today? There does seem to be a little bit of lag between the stream and the chat, and I apologize for that. I'm off to go hunt down some sand and gravel. One of the uh, server mates, Ray Est, is looking to looking for a lot of concrete for her current project. I'm trying to help out as best I can. Because sometimes, sometimes I'm helpful. Yeah, I gotta work on the lighting a little bit. <laughs> Thought it was day already. Come on. There we go. Yeah. When we get the new server, the lag should be taken care of. Not if, but when. Definitely going to happen sometime in the coming week. been a more relaxed day. This is going to be the new time from uh, 7 to 9 Eastern on Tuesdays. We've been going on Mondays since we started the stream and just scheduling makes that a little bit uh, a little bit hard. And while I could have easily just gone ahead and started next week, I thought I'd go ahead and kick it off now. Oh, okay, I was hoping Silk Touch could pick that up. I can never remember if it does or doesn't. Short term memory, something or other. One day I'll remember what it's called. Since I'd already gone through all of yesterday's plans, I, I didn't really have a good one for today. I don't know, I could go caving through here, couldn't I? Yeah, not without a little more preparation. That's how you lose stuff. I'm going to give Arcadius as hard a time as I've given him about losing all his tools, all his armor. I 
probably ought to take better care not to lose it all myself. Just saying. Right now, the server's running on an old laptop, an Alienware M17X. I want to say it's R2. If not that exact model, definitely in that ballpark. So we're talking about, uh, it was brand new seven-ish years ago. You know, it did its job. It served its purpose. It's done double duty as our Minecraft server for a while now. And it's done a pretty good job of that, too. The world that we ran on 1.11 and 1.12 ran very nicely on it. With uh, all the features that were coming in the update aquatic, we wanted to go ahead and start fresh. And uh, since we've been watching series like Hermitcraft and Hermit Sky and uh, various and sundry others, we kind of wanted to start a uh, start a series of our own. Help give back a little bit. And thus was born Coffee Craft. This is season zero. We'll work out all the bugs. We had some nasty audio issues early on. Got those fixed. We're still having some crazy issues with uh, bandwidth. Where sometimes Arcadius will be perfectly fine streaming alongside and other times uh, not so much well, that's unfortunate although again better to find that out while I'm standing up here I guess you can trigger another yeah okay going down after that either. <laughs> I got plenty up here. What else can I knock down? how much memory we got a budget for last night's stream ran such that I think we could fit on a server with 4 gig although I don't know if the high memory usage was because we're it's running on the laptop version of Java which is notoriously sad and I don't know if it's because we were running on a laptop or an older processor and so the processor was hitting memory a lot for uh, for various processes, things that it was having trouble with. I'm definitely thinking our first server is going to be 4 gig if we can squeeze it in the budget. And then kind of start building out from there. I'm actually kind of surprised that the current server is using 4 gig at peak. Just because uh, we don't have all that much going right now. We don't have a whole lot of redstone. We don't have a whole lot of uncovered hoppers or a lot of the usual, usual suspects for lag and memory usage. Lag busting is definitely going to be one of those things that I try to study up on in the off hours because uh, we need it. 
and I do suspect that I am part of the problem. <laughs> I've got uh, the lion's share of the redstone machines going at my base right now. I notice that every time the uh, monster dropper runs the water update absolutely lags the ever-living snot out of everything around it. Right. I'll go walk up to the collection system and I'll know the water's about to hit because I will freeze in my spot in step. Just bloop. Oh, must be the water. Look out for some monsters coming. I might go through and try to uh, rebuild it with flying machines. Get a uh, sweeper system that knocks them off the edge instead of the water. I don't know if that would be better or worse for the server lag, to be honest. On the one hand, the sweeper system's more updates, but it seems like... Pretty much through all the renditions of 1.13, water has been the primary cause of problems. back to the other podcast for a second um, as you've noticed on all my profiles I have Minecraft the coffee craft I've got the 47% the world of tanks and there's a third one games revisited um, that one I have not yet started because I want to make sure I get all these weird issues with YouTube worked out issues with YouTube worked out and then once that happens I will uh, get the third one going So I'm going to go head back to the base and then log out and bid you all adieu a little bit earlier than I intended. I do normally plan on going till 9 p.m. 2100 Eastern Daylight Time. Um, just between yesterday's stream and work. I'm not quite on. Uh, not quite all there today. Hi. But don't worry, next week should be better. And again, most of the time, Arcadius will be able to stream with me. I noticed that it, uh, streaming is a lot easier when you got somebody there with you. Um, it's a lot easier.
Okay, that was useful. Alright. With that, I will bid you all adieu a little bit earlier than normal. Um, remember again, Coffee Craft is moving from Mondays to Tuesdays, 7 to 9 p.m. Eastern Time. And uh, see you again on Tuesday.